Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, we have the ROG Phone 3 update. So recently they released the ROG Phone 2 update and now we're going for the ROG Phone 3. So for the change log here, uh, updated December 2020 Android security patch. It enabled Volti uh, voice over LTE on Maxis in Malaysia and Rakuten in Japan. It's also Vo, Vo Wi Fi on CSL, Smartphone, Hong Kong. So, added auto lock touch function to Game Genie. This feature turns on auto, on, uh, turns on lock touch mode when screen is idle for a certain duration. Improved grayscale performance of display. So. There is a slight difference now for those having issues with a black crush issue. This will kind of fix it in a way, but I don't think it will fully fix it, but it will it will be a help. Then improve aura light function stability with the rug phone armor lighting case. Fix where system UI does not respond after clearing long list of notifications. Fix issue where bypass charging feature would not occasionally not work. Improve 5G connection stability. So uh, some were having issues with 5G connection stability. They got cut off or sometimes they don't have a... Uh, even, th even though the mobile network is turned on, they don't have a connection on that said either 4G or 5G. So this would fix and make it more stable fix audio crackling and static noise when recording the music with the smule app turned on the auto download and installation Wi-Fi and system update so these are all the change logs which will be included in this update so just download the update which I'll be giving the link in the description below and for those who don't know all you have to do is as soon as you download it, just copy paste the link to your Chrome browser. So go to your downloads folder. So as soon as you open your file manager, internal storage, look for download. So this is the file, look, look for the file. Long press on that, move to, click internal storage and click OK. So your file should be here okay so as usual don't extract the file just move the file the file I'm using is about here 3.04 gig so this is a full update and not the photo update so doesn't matter if you're on a lower version or on the latest version before this by using this update you'll be able to update it to the latest update okay so after that, that's all you have to do. Go back, be sure your battery is above 50% and restart your phone. So we'll be doing that now and I'll be back after a while, okay? All right. Okay, so after I restarted my phone, I, as you can see, I got this notification up here. It says system update file detected so just tap on that and then click OK to start the update process okay so as you can see up here there so it's starting we're at 2 percent <clears throat> So again, I'm sorry if I wasn't able to upload this earlier because I was at uh, work earlier and I had to, because I, I, I still have a day job, and but, but as promised, I'll be continuing giving you guys updates, whether it be ROG Phone 3 or ROG Phone 2, I'll be giving you guys continuous updates on my channel. And the links will also be in the description on my channel so that you won't have a hard time searching for what websites and whatnot. But rest assured, all my updates are uh, from Asus itself. I don't 
tamper with any of the files on my updates there as you can see some of the links I have given are from the ASUS website itself so I, I just get them earlier because <clears throat> my sources and I have this uh, way of getting it earlier unlike the websites when they, they post it about two to four days after the updates has been released so so just wait for it to finish and as soon as the updates are finished you'll be able to enjoy your new update with this new features over here all right so as you can see let's go to settings system about phone here my version right now is 2009.99 so we're up we are updating to 2012.12 okay so let's also check here under let's see uh, what is that Mm -hmm. uh, not privacy security so as you can see on the security update the last update of the ROG is still September 1 2020 but hopefully up to after this update it would uh, be updated to December 2020 so again, uh, a lot of people has, have been tell, asking me questions on the on my YouTube channel. If you are on a ten cent version of a ROG phone, even if you have flashed the software to a global version, you won't be able to use the automatic updates, which is this. This won't work whatever you do it will not work unless you are on a official global phone of the ROG3 once you're on Tencent only manual updates will work so let's let's just try to see okay we have an October one here and a September one here let's see if this gets updated later uh, hopefully it gets updated so right now we're at 46 percent so let's just wait for it <clears throat> if you have questions regarding on oh one more thing I just remembered some of you are asking Okay, so it turns out that at 47%, as you can see on the video, I had an error. So what I had to do was uh, delete the file. Uh, then I downloaded the file again and restarted my phone. And uh, the popped up uh, came out again to update my uh, software. So I clicked it again. And now we're at 71 it just continued so once you click it again it will start at 47% where it left off so if ever you encounter this error or you, all you have to do is uh, just uh, delete the file from your internal storage so go to your internal storage look for the file like this one so just delete that download the file again and restart your phone then proceed again as directed so it should continue like mine so mine's now at 82 and 83 uh, percent we'll just see if it pushes through to a hundred percent so one of the reasons why I do my videos real time is so that you can see 
and <clears throat> know if the update really works so that's the advantages of me doing it this time so right away we could fix it if there are some errors it would happen first on my phone before your phone then we could do the fix before going to your phone <clears throat> so we're at, we're at 90 percent already let's see if the update pushes through if you don't experience the error you don't have to do this just do it the normal way but like for my phone I experienced an error at 47% so that's the fix I did for it so let's see if it will go and, and update the phone successfully let's check it out so at 99% <clears throat> there system update successful please restart your device so I'll be restarting my device and be back right after okay all right okay my phone is restarting now I uh, just finished restarting so there I'm oh, sorry you were not able to see that the so the system was updated successfully it came out Let's check our version here. So we have now 2012.12. .12. Let's check if under security. There. So it's now on December. We're on the December 1 patch. So that's the fix I did for it. So if ever you encounter the same problem and you get an update failed and stuck at 47%. All you have to do is go to your settings, file manager, I mean file manager, internal storage, search for the file. By the way, you can delete the file right after the update so to save on space. So that's what I always do. So just delete the file, download the file again, put it there and restart your phone. That should continue the update and fix the problem. So if, if you have any other more questions, you can just comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them uh, also as fast as possible if it's possible, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you subscribe, like, and share my video. And Merry Christmas to you guys, okay? Bye.